I'm going to show everyone how to fix their low shower pressure uh, without uh, replacing anything plumbing wise. I've had luck with this a few times and I haven't seen another video out there that shows how to do it this way. So I thought it would be good to contribute. Let's say you've got bad water pressure and you've already taken the head off and you checked it and there's nothing clogging it, but for some reason, everything else in the house has good water pressure. So you're pretty certain that something's going wrong in your shower. What it usually is, is there's a cartridge in your valve that uh, changes from the, the bath to the shower and the water always runs in one direction through that cartridge. The cartridge may not have anything wrong with it, um, but the plumber would replace it in order to fix your shower. And this is a way to get around having to do any plumbing. Uh, and also if you replace those cartridges, they're kind of delicate and it's, it's a little bit of a pain. It's uh, seriously not that much fun. So using uh, these two items chiefly, you can, um, I'll show you this a little closer. So this is just a fitting that you, you make up at the hardware store that's got a um, it's got a shower or a uh, garden hose fitting here and this here is designed to go around the outside of your shower so you, you would open up the clamp um, if you don't want to go through a whole lot of effort there but you've got a spare garden hose you can take and you can cut a garden hose back and then uh, you might have to split it but you can spread the garden hose over the, that end of it uh, and what you're looking for is a backflow of water. So in the summertime, you take a garden hose from outside through your, through your uh, window and you attach it to your fitting that is secured around your garden stem, or not garden stem, but shower stem. And then you run water backwards through here. When you're, and then you open the valve and the water runs out as if into the bath, you gotta open and close those valves a little bit in order to get the valve working. And it only takes like five minutes of flushing, just to open and close the valves, open and close the valves, and uh, all that sediment that's stuck in that will wash right out. If, you, if it's winter time and you gotta do this, so you don't wanna be running your, your faucets outside, you can get one of these fittings that is designed to adapt your uh, kitchen kitchen faucet to a garden hose. So you screws onto the kitchen faucet there, and then it screws onto the garden hose here. That way then you don't have to source your, uh, your spigots from outside. So you can run from your, from your sink, and all you're doing is back flowing this, opening that valve, closing that valve, letting it run out into the bathtub, and in a basically about five minutes, you're going to have flushed your system and you'll have good water pressure again.